Uh, today we're going to talk about plate armor. Um, Cerberus contacted me the other day, and he's plate smith, and he said, "I'm going to give you a set of plate. Try it out. See what you think. If you don't like it, don't endorse it. If you like it, that's great." So I said, "Well, you know what? I'll try it out, and I'll do a video on it." And uh, it basically, we're going to show today the misconceptions about plate and. Uh, hopefully show a lot of people and especially new, new players that uh, plate isn't scary you know plate's actually really good to have and uh, it's uh, pretty it's a pretty tough mother so basically we'll go through the pros and cons first and uh, we'll talk about what uh, uh, what it, it has to offer so basically in the pros uh, plate has the highest defense of all pl all, all armor um, it has glancing blows so basically these glances are uh, uh, means that uh, the, when the mob attacks you, uh, you don't take any damage, which uh, they can occur quite a lot, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, plate does decrease the hit chance, and uh, high damage reduction um, equal to drake, so that's good. So basically, you don't see as many medium wounds and stuff like that, you just get a lot of little light kind of in very light wounds which is pretty cool so if you've got an LT mall or something there like I have a mall obviously as you can see in the picture um, you know you make it back with the life transfer and it's, uh, you end up coming out pretty good so basically one thing um, which it's probably better for uh, veteran players or more skilled players that have been playing a while um, not too much but as long as you have you know, your body strength is pretty good uh, plate won't slow you down too much so we'll do a bit of a uh, we'll go over a couple of uh, little clips later about um, um, you know speeds on new characters and older characters. So also too uh, the steel great helm is one of the two uh, plate uh, helms that uh, uh, protects your eyes. So basically that and the bassinet helm, um, and you'll find that uh, a lot of Drake players actually wear the steel helm as well just because of the protection. Um, and I find it's a, another pro is the fact that uh, you know you take this uh, on hunting trips and you're mounted and you don't have to worry about uh, uh, being slow so basically if you're mounted you're pretty much like any other uh, armor so that's I think that's a pro so basically now uh, the last one is that plate does not cost you know 80 plus euro or 120 euro or something like that you know it's probably going to be I've seen ranging from 5 silver to uh, 15 silver or something like that but you'd have to look on the forums and find out you know the price prices and uh, and um, but you know talk to someone maybe they can do a good deal or something we can talk to Cerberus he'll give you you know he can sell you some plate hey so uh, then we move on to the to the cons so basically you know walking uh, in plate uh, is pretty tough higher skilled players obviously can walk a bit faster uh, Cerberus was telling me that he could go about 12 kilometers an hour uh, obviously this is guess this is a con that everyone likes to move fast that's why people do buy the drake and stuff like that and then wear chain and stuff like that and leather but uh, you know at normal weight I think the travel speed is 10.89 um, I think it is um, I walk at 10.98 I think and I don't mind uh, that's okay I guess that's a con but if I want to I can always change it out into my studded but I don't mind so basically also uh, heavy drains on stamina while moving so but uh, once again if you're mounted not a problem walking around you, you D you might be moving a bit slow and stuff like that um, hard to craft uh, plates pretty hard to craft and not so many plate smiths out there but uh, if you want to get stuck into it you can uh, you're obviously making things like uh, cloth and chain and stuff like that and leather leather a bit hard you know you've got to kill some animals for leather and stuff but we won't go into that different armor so um, that's kind of the cons so from there we're going to talk about um, these different clips of uh, my Sirius, my young character um, that uh, is hardly any, has hardly any skills and he's going to wear it and uh, then I will go to Milo and show you that you know he moves a bit faster so here are these clips so here we are on my alt Ceres he obviously is pretty new uh, he has hardly any strength at all but you can look uh, at the speed and he's always doing five 
well, 6.5 or whatever is pretty damn slow. He has pretty much the same weight as what uh, Milo does, which this is Milo here, and he's cruising at 10.98, I think it is, but I think uh, for normally it's 10.8. Eight, nine. Okay, so here we have a couple of examples of you know fighting and watching uh, the glancing blows and how much damage you take while doing it. Obviously, right here, I have no uh, no stamina. Kind of caught me by surprise, these guys. So I'm just going to take them on anyway. They're pretty much dead, but uh, we were looking for a couple of you know glancing blows and stuff. That glances off. Yeah, my attack glanced off. Maybe perhaps this isn't the best example of showing the glancings, but obviously you can see that with a hellhound and a spider I really don't take any damage at all really. And the thing is with uh, these damages um, they're, they're small, you know they're, they're, you don't get many medium wounds or anything like this. But uh, here we have a croc uh, starving what is he? A star oh, an aged fierce crocodile. And he doesn't really do too much to me. Um, got some parries there on the large mall. Um, looking for... Yep, there's a glancing blow. Another glancing. So, you know, these glances really make a difference. And the other thing I want to add is that uh, I'm in aggressive uh, stance and I don't wear a shield. So basically I can't, I'm not as defensive as I could be, so I'm actually probably taking more damage than other people would. So basically this is the aggressive way of doing it in plate. So obviously uh, you probably take less damage if you wear a shield and stuff. Okay, this is a fight that I did. Uh, uh, it's two hellhounds here at a time and uh, a third one comes in, I don't know exactly when he comes in but we'll check it out so attack me, I also have some, I do have some aura of champagne on this uh, Severus did say I didn't need to have any but I thought I'd put some on anyway and uh, it does you know, chew away a little bit uh, I'm having a little problem hitting them at the moment but that's uh, Wojik for you Wojik, it's not me um, no, look at all the glances, you can see down the bottom if you're watching at the combat log there's lots of glancing blows, so uh, I will start to hit them. See, lots of glances. It's, I love it. I love it. Now there was actually a big, a big hit. I think it was actually two hellhound hits, and you find that uh, two animals that really do these big hits are, uh, are trolls and uh, hellhounds. I haven't really got, uh, you know, found too many other animals that uh, hit like this that aren't. Um, you know, champions. So, I hope these little fights show you a little bit about it. You know, I didn't do too much fighting, uh, but I did capture a couple of fights. So, basically, this is plate armor, and um, yeah, check it out. Grab some if you can. Uh, it's fun to wear, and it's great to fight in, and stuff like that. And I think uh, a lot of misconceptions about plate. And now, hopefully, you guys can look at it and go, ah, oh, you know what? I actually might get some plate. So uh, I have to thank Cerberus for the opportunity uh, with this plate. It's been awesome fun, and I'm going to keep it and uh, keep going with my plates. Uh, so, yep, yeah, go out and check it out. And um, if you any, want any plate, just see Cerberus, and uh, I'm sure he can hook yourself some. So basically, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.